Pittsburgh Steelers re-signed uh, outside linebacker Anthony Ciccolo today to a one-year contract, according to NFL Network's Ian Rappaport. Now, he was primarily been a backup in his time in Pittsburgh, barely played any defense his rookie season. He was drafted as a sixth-round pick before the 2015 campaign. But this year, he actually started seven games and uh, made about 29 combined tackles, two and a half sacks, uh, forced a couple of fumbles, and he was a core special teams player. Uh, now, it's worth noting that he's played both sides, uh, left outside linebacker and right outside linebacker for the Steelers, and he is now their third outside linebacker that they have contracted to come back for next season, joining Bud Dupree as well as Arthur Motes. Now, Arthur Motes has also been largely a reserve swing guy, and the Steelers really have rotated heavily their outside linebackers the last four years. At the end of the season, the team preferred to have James Harrison and Bud Dupree and really no one else on the field if they could help it. Now, James Harrison has said he would like to return. Mike Tomlin has said, yeah, we're open to that. And Harrison, I think it's fair to infer, would, if he does come back, would come back to Pittsburgh. They could probably sign him on a not terribly expensive deal. He'd been making just over a million dollars um, per year the past, uh, this past season. And if he's going to play in Pittsburgh, he's just trying to leg it out and, and get a Super Bowl. Um, they wouldn't sign him on a a veteran minimum deal, I don't think, but it would be something close to that where it's not going to cost the Steelers too terribly much to have his presence uh, in in that position, probably playing right outside linebacker, um, definitely helping coach up some of the younger guys, uh, but that's probably not the final piece of the puzzle. Uh, we're not assuming, but it seems like Jarvis Jones, who was relegated to special teams duty at the end of the year and is set to become a free agent, will not be back. So the Steelers then either get more help in free agency, uh, which would be more expensive, or they go and get somebody in the draft, which seems more likely. It's just a matter of where in the draft and, and how much bargain and immediate uh, impact they think they can get from that signing. Bud Dupree has effectively already become a starter, and he was a 2015 first-round pick. So it's a not impossible position to, to get contributions from. Um, though, especially in, in the stretch run of this past season, it seems like the Steelers would have preferred to just have, you know, a couple guys playing the position rather than a real heavy rotation that, that a less experienced player might force them to play with. So, Anthony Chickle will be back with the Steelers. He didn't cost them that much. It's a one-year exclusive rights free agent deal, which means he probably signed for a little over $600,000. Won't bother their cap too much. What you should pay attention to is the Steelers, you know, move forward through their offseason and free agency actually opens up in March. Um, Drew Rosenhaus is reportedly in town with uh, the Steelers talking Lawrence Timmons' contract. He's said to become a free agent, as well as Antonio Brown's. And Art Rooney II told Penn Live and a bunch of other reporters uh, that the the Steelers do want to extend Antonio Brown's deal before this upcoming season. He has one year left, and the star receiver is, is set to become increasingly one of the top paid receivers in the league. So that will leave the Steelers with a clearer picture of what they're going to do in free agency this offseason once those two contracts are negotiated, agreed to, signed, uh, or not. Uh, and that, you know, apparently, uh, reportedly, I believe Jason Lankafora reported that uh, those negotiations have started already. So I would expect that in the next couple of weeks we'll have a much, much clearer picture of what the Steelers roster and, and salary cap expenditures will look like for 2017. They're in pretty good shape. They've cleared out a lot of the dead money that they've had in past years and are really poised to just make a very clear-cut delineation of who's getting paid to play what positions and where those players are being signed from. So expect some clarity from the Steelers in the next few days, next couple of weeks, and uh, we'll be headed towards Indianapolis for the combine very soon as uh, pre-draft coverage kicks up. Thanks for tuning back in. We'll be back later in the week, if not sooner. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Feel free to hit us with any questions in the comments section, send us some messages, or of course check out penlab.com slash Steelers or you can follow me on Twitter. There's a lot of things you can do. There's a lot of things I can do. We'll talk soon. See ya.